Hey guys, Mark here from Eibach. Today we're going to be talking about how easy it is to get Eibach race springs onto your coilovers. As we all know, there are hundreds of different types of coilovers out there, and I'm going to show you a few easy ways to find the right Eibach race spring for each one. And why would you want to do this? A lot of people actually choose different spring rates and different spring lengths in order to make clearance uh, with their wheel and tire package, or even maybe they're adding weight or have aero and want to just up the rate from something soft to something stiff or vice versa. So this particular coilover actually comes with this spring and this spring is a good example of how to easily and quickly determine your inner diameter, length and spring rate. And this particular manufacturer does inner diameter first, then length and then spring rate. So we have a 62 millimeter inner diameter, we've got a 200 millimeter length and then we have an 8K rate. Everyone does it a little bit differently. We actually start with our length, inner diameter, and then spring rate. Okay, well that's easy enough if there's numbers printed on the spring and it tells you exactly what they are, but what happens when there's nothing on there? First things first, once you have the spring uninstalled from your coilover, you wanna take a measurement of length. This particular one is six inches. And then you're gonna to wanna to get the inner diameter, which on this particular spring is 2.29 inches. Uh, we actually call out two and a quarter, so there's a little bit of extra clearance so you can make sure it fits over the perch. If you don't have a caliper, then you can also use your ruler. Just make sure you have it butt up against a flat surface and then take your measurement straight on there. Finally, a spring rate measurement. Now, a lot of manufacturers actually include the spring rates that they use on the coilovers in their promotional material and on their website. Um, but if that's not the case, here's a quick and easy way to get an estimate of what your spring rate is now. First, get your wire diameter. Then, measure the inner diameter of the spring. And finally, you count the number of coils. Starting at the beginning, you have one coil, two coil, three coil, four coil, five coil, and then approximately 0.6 coils here. So we'd call this approximately 5.6 coils. Then you take that information, head to ibach.com forward slash calculator, plug them in and it'll get you close. So this particular manufacturer actually calls out, like we showed you, a 62 millimeter spring, but they come with a isolator that takes their 60 millimeter perch up to 62. So you in fact could use an Eibach 60 millimeter spring on your coilover, no problem. Not only do we have metric coilover springs, but we also offer a huge range of standard dimension springs, which is basically our two and a half and two and a quarter inch IDs, which also fit on 60 mil and metric coilovers. So uh, for example, again, this 60 millimeter coilover easily fits our two and a half inch spring. So you can use this uh, by itself, but we do have a isolator designed to take up the extra slop and make sure that you have a snug fit on the assembly. I uh, recommend adding those if you're gonna do a 60 millimeter to a two and a half. So as you can see, there are also two different types of coilovers, ones that have an adjustable base and ones that are a fixed body. So we already looked at the adjustable base. Let's take a look at how the fixed body and a double spring setup works. So as an example, we have this fixed body coilover right here. And if you were to take this mainspring and drop it on, then put the top on, you basically have a whole bunch of slop in there and the spring can just bounce around and actually damage the body. Now, let's say, okay, well, why don't you just screw the perch up? Well, if the spring rate's too high, then it's gonna lift your car up. So if you want the car to sit at a certain height and basically the travel to be down here, you're gonna need something to take up the space, which is your tender or helper spring. So, we offer a, an adapter. Drops on there and then couples the two springs together. That way you can have a complete assembly and then that way at droop, the spring doesn't move and everything's happy. To find the right Eibach race spring for your setup, head to eibach.com and use our race spring lookup.